Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Thug Life with Tortuga Powerless, episode number four. In the last episode we led a whole horde of zombies onto uh, a lone pair of Migos. And uh, if you think Migos are scary by themselves, let me tell you that two of these guys just ripped through all of these zombies. Just ripped through them. So we have, a, we have to make a new plan now because these uh, Migos with nothing else to go after are going to go after me. Now, I don't know if there's anything else worth taking over here. The RPG-7, let's just go grab that. Is it too big though? It's one... Wait, what? No, I, I have a rock. 4.5. Do I have 4.5 to spare? I do. I think it's useful to get. I mean, an RPG-7 certainly sounds like it could be handy. Even the soda could be interesting, this energy cola. I just have to gauge how far I'm going to be able to run. Uh, because these guys, these uh, amigos, are going to come after me and I'll probably have to come back. I mean, we did drink enough for now, so let's not worry about the soda. I'm not even sure I should worry about the RPG-7. I doubt it has any ammunition. I guess let's go find out. Um, and where is this flaming eye again? It's pretty much out of sight. It might have already done something to us. I hope it didn't. But we'll find out in a moment. So here we go. Let's go grab the RPG-7. Don't worry about the Graken. Graken is, uh, I think, a reference to the Greg somebody. It's kind of like called the Graken uh, from StarCraft. StarCraft to StarCraft 2. Something like that. So where are these Migos going? They are approaching me. Now, I know that if I lead them back into town on the same road. We've already cleared that road. The evac shelter, probably not gonna have enough people to kill this thing. If I go far enough north, they can kill ants for me, but ants are pretty good for me to kill for a source of meat. I want them most of all to kill zombies. So we're gonna do a diagonal run, and then we're gonna do another diagonal run back to the left. So from, the, from the west, I'll let the comments that the amigos make entertain you. Who's there? What are we facing here? Yeah, I, mean, I just think somewhere down here, <laughs> you're gonna go rotten hell for this. These are all the things, again, that humans were saying in the last moments before their deaths at the hand of these amigos. Now, I'm not running yet, but it's probably more scared of us than we are of it. That's what they said about it. No, I don't think these Migos are scared of anything. How long were you two together? Oh, little, little bit of, okay, so we have, still no zombies, but we have a bunch of broken stuff here, so that's usually a sign that, I think this house started to collapse. Not really sure what went on here. Anyways, we're almost back to zombie population. What's below us right now? Pharmacy? Okay. I'm gonna try to get it to even go through this rattlesnake. I'm not sure that we can provoke. Is it fleeing the rattlesnake? Okay, that one. Yeah, they did not bite. Literally, the rattlesnake did not bite. I was running for a second there. Let's slow down. Can I take this rock? I can. Let's do that because it's nice to throw things. Ah, and now we're back to the zombie, the zombie highway. And what I'm seeing is a bunch of zombies down here. If I come in from the north, we can also avoid, in the way I love to, doing too much damage to the bike. So I mean to the vehicles. But this bicycle is missing foot pedals. So actually, we can combine the working parts of this one. Ooh, could it be our first brute? It is. This, a brute versus amigo. Now we're starting to talk, I mean, a little more evenly. So let's go all the way to the left first. It's inefficient to do so, but sorry, let me zoom out. Probably have, gonna have to start running in a second here. Okay, let's start turning those wheels. All right. Lots of zombies are aggroed. This is gonna give me 
I'm just gonna run through the middle of them like a crazy man. I actually have to double back though. I'm gonna slow down. Uh, I have to double back because I need the Migos. I need these guys to attack the Migos. Okay, so let's not die. It's done. I did it. Success. All right, let those guys leave them to their own devices. Uh, zombie hits the Migo. So one of the Migos does not really feel that affected by it. But the Brood coming up is going to make a big difference. So now what's our plan while these guys are attacking each other? I mean, by the way, I just, <laughs> I'm so fascinated by the parties. Coming. And this, I feel like we're playing in a very realistic way. Like, if I knew I could run between, I could lure zombies to a target, I, well, it's kind of crazy. I mean, it's a bit risky. But what isn't risky in the apocalypse, right? So you got to take some risks. Uh, I think we have to prepare some more zombies for these Migos to fight. They, uh, 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 uh oh, they triggered one. All right, let's see what's happening here. I'm looking for, in particular, the zombie brute. Uh, no, no dice so far. <laughs> and what if all the backups fail? <laughs> Which apparently they did, otherwise the Amigo wouldn't be free. Zombie Brute hits the Amigo's torso, then it hits the Amigo. And now that Amigo has taken a bit more damage. Okay, that's good to see. So we're probably okay then. This might be enough. And then we'll have to worry about how to deal with the Brute, but hopefully the Brute will be in bad shape by then. So I don't really want to keep luring these things to me. 17-inch wheel, okay, obviously not something. The question is, how is the Brute doing? Okay, it's actually a pretty even fight. With one of the Migos fleeing. We don't want that, so you know what? Wait, are you fleeing as well? Oh god, I stepped in the middle. The Brute must have thrown it back. A blow from the zombie brute sends the Migo flying. The Migo climbed back to his feet. So this brute is definitely going to win. We're going to start running, though, after this me. Oh, God. No, not me. Please, not me. Okay, good. He's going that way. We're going to let them kill each other. I'm just going to follow after this Migo. Let's see what it does. Actually, let's, let's go around this building. So we can surprise it. Okay, it's fleeing, but not really. Ah, it's it can't make up its mind because it has no good choices. <laughs> oh gosh. A portal. It's a rune. My goodness. I'm not sure we want to get too close to that. I don't even know what that is. Unfortunately, the zombie's now after me. I dumped my. Damn it. I dropped my. Uh... Where'd it go? Oh man, it's so fast. Wait, I think it's coming back. Yeah, so now it's hostile again. All right, perfect. We're gonna run and we will kill it. There, we got it. All right, cool. Whew. All right, so this is, uh, this is how we do things very slowly. Gradually you're gonna make a difference in the world. I can imagine sometime in the future, the town of Anson being completely free of zombies. It's a, a dream I have, and we may live long enough to see it realized. Got another gallon jug. The, we could butcher this corpse. I think it actually doesn't, can give some like good tendons and stuff like that, but it won't give us um, edible meat. Some more books in this house, but we'll come back maybe at night I'll take the rocks, because I can throw those. 
<clears throat> usually your um, my strategy leading up to being attacked is to throw rocks until they get right at <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> right at point blank range. Let me take a drink. Oof. And we still don't know what the outcome was of the big fight down here. <clears throat> I think I know what happened. I think that the brute is now chasing Amigo somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where they are, but that brute's probably chasing after that uh, Migo when running. Doesn't look like an amazing good time to go that way. I actually want to go back and see what the firefighter zombies dropped. I mean, wait, was there a firefighter zombie? Oh, Hacksaw's nice. Let's just look at what we have around us. Do we have any firefighter? I can actually filter by... Okay, there's no firefighter corpse. Would it just be called a zombie corpse? I guess it would. Um, so we just have to look for zombie equipment. I mean, uh, another belt, heavy duty flashlight. That could have been it. Combat boots. That was probably the zombie cop. Another backpack. You can stack two backpacks. That's the maximum. But Taylor's kit is really useful. I'm going to actually take that. I know that we have a sewing kit, but Taylor's kit is like the best. The elite tier sewing stuff. And you know, that's one of the things we're gonna have to become very good at is sewing. <sighs> Talking doll has a little bit of batteries. We'll ignore this. We can come back and clean this up. In fact, a lot of what I want to do is clean this up off camera. Oh, okay, military rucksack, yes. Yes, we'll take this. Um if you're only gonna carry two backpacks, well you might as well make one of them something which carries twenty liters of goods. But I'm not gonna take it yet because I see some zombies approaching. They're not even triggered yet. I think I can take this whole group. I mean, we may seem like we're pretty cocky, but our skills are getting there. And, you know, skill two is pretty much nothing. <laughs> Your skill five is like really something you start to think, okay, I'm, I'm doing okay. But because my character is just insanely powered, like I, you know, the, the, all the points went to stats, and if you can start getting some skills to complement that, you're in really good shape. So this zombie can see me, and this firefighter zombie. So let's go down here, and actually we can take a look at this motorcycle. Security system is still activated, so we can't use it. And its engine is faulty, we can see on the right panel. Hmm. If it's not raining, I don't mind just standing here now. Don't kill that car. Ooh. Okay, the zombie dog is a little more scary. I really am scared. The zombie dogs have just, I don't know, maybe I've had unlucky rolls against them. But they seem to do me in much more often than I'd like to admit. So I'd like to a little bit of spacing between these guys. Okay. I'm wearing my backpack. If I take it off, a lot of crap is going to drop to the ground. Still, 17 in torso encumbrance is not terrible. I mean, it's, it's getting a little higher, but it's not terrible. So let's see if we can fight this. I'm going to kite. We did break out of the grab. My strength is so high, we should be able to break out of most grabs. Keep kiting. Killed the wrong zombie. Okay. Shady zombies, by the way, in case you were wondering, they see well at night. They're nighttime zombies, basically. Firefighter. He's going to be a little more difficult to deal with. Although I have to say we've started handling him well. We were actually even able to break his grab. I think I'm going to go for the kill. Yep. And if they just stay lined up like that, I'll just kill them all in the same spot. 
makes looting a little bit easier if you don't have to look in several places. Now, what did this... Ah, uh, flame-resistant gloves. Those go on the inside, I think. Yeah, close to the skin. Flame-resistant suit, which is close to the skin, which is wonderful. It's really wonderful. Um, I'm definitely... I'll take it and I'll fix it up to use it. I'll probably use the flame-resistant socks as well. I mean, it's all useful, right? Actually, flame-resistant socks... Maybe it's because they're so tattered and destroyed. I probably won't even be able to use those because trying to repair two red dots is most likely going to be a failure until I get really high tailoring skills. Uh, utility vest, it's also useful because it's along the waist. We'll take that, we can wear that immediately. What did that make us from 18? So the encumbrance of what, four for that then? Five, okay, so we went up from 17, I guess, to 22. And then we just have to kill this one last Zombie, shouldn't be a problem. Crawling zombies are you know, not very difficult. Okay, good, so, well, I mean, we're, we're do oh man. Firefighter helmet. It does say firefighter corpse. Oh, my, my filter was on, I think. So does it say, yeah, it says firefighter zombie corpse. Okay, so the, I did search, I did filter correctly before. I guess there was no firefighter zombie in that mess, or maybe, it was this one right here. Maybe no firefighter zombie died in it. I must have uh, remembered incorrectly. I thought there was one that was fighting it. So firefighter helmets, pretty darn good. Um, encumbrance of 40, which is horrible, but the head doesn't really have a, encumbrance for the head doesn't really mean much. I think it even says that specifically. So head encumbrance has no effect. It simply limits how much you can put on. There it goes. So that really, the have, really heavy firefighter helmet, we might as well just wear it. In fact, let me just wear fighter fire helmet. And there we go. Looks a lot better. We look pretty cool now. And again, that's uh, one of the main, <laughs> main things for Tortuga, right? It's to look stylish in the zombie apocalypse. So let me get rid of this filter. There we go. Uh, okay, so what's next for us? Let me take a moment, by the way, to say that I haven't posted any of the even the first video yet so if you were looking for feedback on oh, the Migo, where's what the hell did he did he clone himself do they duplicate like I'm not ready for that Firefighter helmet, it's a total aside, by the way. Let's take a look at this. Won't let water through. Good. So now if we stand in the rain, at least our head won't get wet. Holy cow. Three of them. I'm going to have to gather up like a massive army to go deal with that. And there's no time like the present, right? We're 18 minutes into this video. I'm kind of wondering what I should do. What I want to do is go drop off all this stuff. Okay, we can do that. I think we can take a quick break to just... And these Migos, they mean real business. Just take a quick break. Grab our zombie. Nobody sees us. We'll just march on out. I'll turn on safe mode even, so I can kind of just... Uh, crawling zombie. I think we can ignore this one. Uh, wrong button. Okay, so ignore that one. Fat zombie, where are you? Okay, we'll ignore you as well. A zombie child probably can ignore you as well. And basically these are the zombies. Okay, let's turn off safe mode. Uh, the zombies that didn't make it in my little run at the Migos initially. So I don't mind killing them. Usually these, oh my gosh, a backpack and a military rucksack? This child was really holding out. And I was gonna say I don't mind, I, the, the, I don't mind killing the zombie children. That's not what I want to say. I, I I would expect candy of some kind from the zombie children. So was, I don't mind killing them so that I can get candy, <laughs> like taking candy from a zombie child. Bifocal glasses. How much else? We'll just kill this uh, crawler. I don't know what he's doing, but. 
screwdriver set. I'm gonna leave, well, if it's a tool set, that would be my favorite thing, but I actually have a bunch of things just lined out in the open. I do wanna check this police vehicle. It could be just a jack or a tire there, but at the same time, it could be something more useful than that. Firefighter zombie, that guy's probably gonna aggro if I'm not careful, and we have to probably go straight left in order to avoid him running into a car. I'm pretty, yeah, you're right. I mean, the thing is cars are such valuable that there's no way of growing a car. There's no way of making, well, it's, I think that's not true, but it's not easy to make new zombie or car parts. So this thing up here to the top left is just already completely destroyed. It's a wreckage between I can't even tell whether the initial cars look like a van and a sports car or something like that, or a normal car. So I'm not going to worry about protecting that one. Uh, yeah, I was like worried about this, but it's just the wreckage's windshield being torn and the frame being destroyed. And all that stuff is not something we can ever replace. So that's just a finite resource. It's almost, an, it's like a uncountably finite uh, resource. So it's got, a, there's a lot of car wreckage you can, you can go after. But I still mourn the loss of even one piece of wreckage that we can never have back, basically. <laughs> okay, grab me, I'm gonna, trust that the well i'm not gonna trust i'm gonna assume that maybe the tough zombie can hold on to his grasp so i'm just gonna fight this guy right here he's almost dead okay ah oh, the zombie grabbed me my goodness okay well let's kill the zombie the decayed zombie's not gonna be a problem and this tough zombie and the firefighter, well, the, I, in my opinion, this is the beginning of something that can take on the Migos, which we've seen already is not really true. The Brute, the Brute is dead, right? What we should do is go back over there and search if the Brute is alive or dead. But what I'm going to do is just run away from this fight. I can collect them later. Okay, so he's still chasing us, but if it's just him... We'll lose him eventually anyway, but if it's just him, I'm not even too concerned about it. Like, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six here. That means I have all six on this screen, and all six are a different type. That's pretty impressive. So yeah, this uh, street to the left of us, it's like the main corridor. We'll just definitely be using that when we want to collect some zombies for... Uh, for the big, the big parade towards the Migos. And you know what, I think that's coming up right now. I basically think that the time for that is now. That tough zombie no longer sees us or is no longer, has lost interest in us. Whew, okay, we made it. Start dropping all this crap off. And eventually I'll come back on off camera, I should say, and I'll reorganize. So the two things I, I wanted to make clear that I, I'm not sure if I was actually able to make them clear or not, but I haven't looked at, I think I already said this, but I haven't looked at any of the comments because the first video has not gone live yet. The second thing is, um, how do I want to take care of things off camera? Like basically, what do I want to do on camera versus off camera? Because the loot cleanup I think is a little tedious. What I think I'll do is I'll go out at night while not recording and I'll just collect all the stuff and I'll put it into a pile and then I'll show you at the beginning of the next episode the pile of loot that I acquired. So I think that we're going to take off our backpack. Can we drop the backpack? Let's just pretend we're going to drop it. Yeah, so we only have 0 0.5 worth of stuff so we can definitely take off the backpack. In fact, we can take off the utility vest as well. We can't. So no, don't drop it, just leave it on. What's our encumbrance? 12, 40, 12, yeah, so this is acceptable, I would say. Now, what's our ordering of things? Let's put the utility vest 
under our other clothes. I don't know if it'll help or not, but since it's kind of in weak shape, I might even, well, the only way I can carry the backpack without wearing it is by using the utility vest. So, okay, let's eat some chocolate. Everyone likes candy. Um, take another gummy vitamin. Probably won't be effective. I think it's only one every like 18 hours or 16 hours, something weird like that. And could take an aspirin off the floor. Our pain is at four, so that'll go down to zero now. So yeah, this RPG-7 doesn't have any uh, ammunition, neither does the Mosquito, which takes nine millimeter. I don't know what this takes, but. And now we're ready to do the, uh, to do this big run and try to take care of these Migos once and for all. And this is definitely gonna be a dangerous, I would say not too dangerous because luckily we're already Pretty well equipped. He had boots. Just trying to see if we're missing something. No, maybe not. I think it's time. Okay. So let's just mainly focus on grabbing zombies. <laughs> grab or zombie. I think that's subconsciously triggered my use of the word grab. Here we go. Dodge left. Juke left. Dodge right. Juke left, dodge right. Okay, so what do we have? And a few shady zombies we're missing. Actually, they're far. They're the ones southwest. This tough zombie might be useful to get, but it's going to require us to go down a different street. And that wasn't part of the plan. But it will lead us back to the same spot. And a lot of the zombies on this street probably are gone. Okay, we'll do it. Okay, what do we have? All these ones, then we have some others. Yep. Okay, so let's just make sure this zo tough zombie is following us. Got two tough zombies. Ah, boomer. Okay, be a little bit careful here. And now it's like uh, we have to herd cats. <laughs> Come on, guys. All together now. Okay. Come on. Oh, zombie brute. Tries to grab you, but you break it. Okay. Yeah, we're gone. We're, now we have all we need. <laughs> Unfortunately, the zombie's brutes are faster than the other zombies so it's gonna take a, a fair I don't know it's gonna take some imagination some creativity to keep this guy so let's do good I think we managed to keep them all clumped together good oh god okay Probably we gotta start running again. Okay, we're running. We are running. We can collect the rest of these guys later. Where are the Migos? I think we have a whole, a very long block to go. We can do it, we can do it. Um, oh no, the flatbeds, whatever wheels destroyed. No, tried to avoid that. Squeeze through by running, collecting all of these guys. Here's our previous uh, <laughs> engagement. We're managing our stamina pretty well. We go all the way over to this thing and then turn south. Okay, and here are our amigos. There's just two now. That's a little worrisome. OK, 
Okay, this Migo is getting close. How many do we have? Still just, oh, okay, that's the third one. One, two, three. All right, so let's bug out. <laughs> no pun intended. Got to go down and get the other ones. Make sure that they're attracted. Oh, they, they already are killing some zombies, but... Oh my god! A blow from the zombie sends the Migo flying. You dodge the Migo. <laughs> he brute sent the Migo flying into me! Cheeky bastard. That's just amazing, the story that this game is presenting for us in this particular playthrough. I can't say that every playthrough is this lively, but this has been a crazy one. Just imagine the movie. We just finally get the two to interact. We dodge out of the way, and the next thing that happens, the brute punches this Migo over into us. Like, sometimes I look over and make sure my recording is actually happening, because it's a rarity to get such amazing events in the game. I want to lure the other Migos into a big party. Here, Migo, Migo, Migo. Done. Mission accomplished, mission accomplished. Ah! Almost too accomplished. Okay, good. So now we need to... How do I do this? Uh, it's kind of tight. Okay. This is just insane. This is like the... I feel like this is like Black Hawk Down with the Migos being the, the Navy SEALs. Well, no, it wasn't the Navy SEALs. I apologize to American Forces. It was the Delta Force, right? The three Delta Force uh, individuals holding off pretty much the entire town. That's kind of what's going on here, right? So we don't want to stick around too long because these Migos are going to just destroy everything. But at the same time... Wait, where are they going? Just for one thing. Okay, now they should be coming after us. Just juke away. And really what we need to do now is... Uh, oh god, tough zombie. We need to get like a bigger force. These guys are not going to be overwhelmed by much. Okay, this house has been destroyed thanks to me. But... You guys need to consolidate, zombies. You really need to consolidate. I'm kind of worried for my own health now. Smikos are not in amazing, situ uh, amazing shape, condition, whatever, but the problem is there's three of them. And if one flees, there's still two to deal with. Killing one? Okay. Any one of those three I think we could take. Maybe the one that's in best, best shape it probably would do a fair amount of damage, but... But the three of them, that's another story altogether. So the good thing is we buy a little bit of time every time they kill something. Did the other one decide to go a different way? It did. So we have two on us. And we're running into a line of zombies. Okay, this is good. I am not your enemy. And actually, this is this is pretty cool. We found where the other Migos come from. So this is another uh, drug run gone bad with the Migos unleashed on somebody or spawning sp simultaneously. Who knows how the initial event happened. And it's left to our imagination. A giant rattlesnake was caught up in the middle of all this. <laughs> it's just madness. This whole thing is madness. So hopefully those guys will all go out. I mean, that Miko seems like it's actually going to hold its own. Grabber bites the Miko's left arm but fails to penetrate its armor. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go well for the zombies. And the, both the Migos are now doing it. Okay, you know what? We'll just we'll move this way. We're obviously going to need more targets for these Migos. And we will try to find just that for them. My torso encumbrance. Okay, it's not terrible. Again, it's going to be very difficult for them to fight like this, though. The best case would be for them to fight clumped up. 
from the north, you hear. Darn it. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty sizable group. Let's get this. Well, it's mostly zombie children, and they're not going to do anything. Okay. Oh, a screamer zombie. From the west, you hear a terrible shriek. Oh, this is actually running. Man, these Migos are just insane. So what we need to do is get these guys, draw them all together. Okay, now run. All right, that's that's a fair number working on that one Migo. And there's lava? So you know, the earth just split in two over here. No big deal. Well, the, the, actually the really great thing about this lava, this is such an interesting playthrough. Um, we can use this for fire. We no longer need to, we can boil water on this. It's crazy. Um, I don't really want to help the Migos. They really should kill all these things, this firefighter zombie included. We're not running, oh we are, whoops. Hopefully that fat's... Okay, that guy's going after the fat zombie, which means he'll have to deal with the zombie cop. Have they taken any more damage? No. These zombies are just trying to get these guys clumped up so they actually fight together. That's pretty clumped. And I think that's exactly how I want to leave this group. Okay, so it's going to be pretty hot if I'm not careful. Jeez, it's zombie cop. Not me. I'm not the enemy. <laughs> so this has become just kind of an insane situation, right? We're trying to lead these zombies, I'm oh, sorry, these Migos into their death. And the problem is, no matter what we throw at them, they shrug it off. Another wreckage. We won't... Can't do anything for this one. So I'm just looking for zombies. Like, okay, there's a zombie, there's a zombie. Wherever there's zombies, those are the, that's the place I want to go. So I can give the Migos more to deal with. And they really aren't even taking much damage. I will tell you one thing, though. They're eliminating all these zombies for me. Oh, a feral runner. Okay, let's do a little bit of running. Those things do jump, but zombie cop misses the Migo. Hey, buddy, you don't have that many chances. Okay, perfect. Well, that is going to keep them busy for a little while. That's a fair number. Let's go round up another group, including you, Mr. Tough Guy. I mean, we're just like a fisher net. Is this a hazmat suit? It is. That'll be a little bit tough. It could tank for that. I mean, if the zombies organized themselves, they would have this no problem. Crap. Oh man, the Amigos are already here. Okay, we'll lead them there. From the southeast, you hear emergency, emergency. So you really get, the more you listen to the Amigos, you get told a story of what happened when uh, they broke out of their confinement. Now we got a, a group of three feral runners. Those guys can do some damage. Just in time, because the Migos are free. Yeah, didn't take very long. My god, they killed all of them so quickly. Okay, so they are pretty much dead. And this is pretty much out of time. We're going to do it. We're going in. Let's fight at a suitable point. I think that this... Well, I was going to say that bush. Is it worth it? I think it is. Okay. He's still hostile. Ouch! He hit my foot. 
<laughs> he did the damage to my steel-toed boots. Yep, these guys mean business. I'm not sure we can win this. It's not too late. There is a zombie who's shown up, my savior. I can take the other one, I'm sure. <laughs> Maybe we can't take this guy yet. He's in the bush, for crying out loud. Let's try one more time. We're not dead yet. Okay, I did 29 damage to him. We dodged. Have you eaten yet? He's not fleeing yet. Okay, let's go for one more time. 11. Keep going. Ouch. Striped shirt, which is not something I care about too much, though. Um, and it's fleeing. We've done it. Okay, let's attack the other one. Nine. We killed it! And now we run after this guy. We're not getting away. We did it. Oh my goodness, what a saga this has been. Tortuga Powerless, you know, he escaped from prison, and this is what I'm actually going to put into his mind, because it was what I was thinking. I was thinking we'd get out of prison, we'd go find a home, we'd kind of gather some loot, we'd, you know, do slow house-by-house -house clearing, Unbeknownst to him or me, a pack of five Migos, or maybe it was four, waited out there for us. Yeah, it was, I guess it was four. No, maybe five, because the Migo we left with the Brute, it should have been injured. And the five, uh, the three new ones we saw, I'm saying they're three new, not two new and one old, because, they, excuse me, they were all in pretty good health. It could have been four. But anyway, this is, this is a lot of Migos. <laughs> And it's become this this, uh, this joke where it's just run around and get the Migos to kill all the zombies. And we're just Puppet Master. So Tortuga Powerless, the Puppet Master, is going to sign off here. We'll see you back for the next episode. And I imagine that by the time the next episode goes out, um, but I'm just, I should say when I start recording episode number five, I should at that point have posted the first video. Maybe not. I'll tell you in the next one. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I am because I'm having a blast. So until the next one, take care.